Dear students, are you wondering what's next after engineering? Getting confused? Here we are bringing solution for your problems. Welcome to FIS and unified collection of facts, information and skills. Today in this video, we are going to talk about what should you do immediately after engineering to build up your professional career. Many of the students doesn't even know why they are into engineering and enroll themselves to the course just following the trend. Isn't that true? Sadly, but it is. The important thing is that when their completion time comes close, they have no idea what to do next. And taking a wrong decision at this moment may gonna spoil your career. In a country like India, where number of engineering students are huge, but the job openings are very limited, you need to be very much careful. This video is made for those students who has average academic records, who doesn't manage to get placed through campus interviews and also who doesn't want to pursue a career by clearing entrance examinations like GATE, CAT, GRE or any other competitive examinations. So friends, considering all the worst cases, we are trying to lead you to the right career path by suggesting you the top 5 career options which you can choose after completion of your engineering. Please watch the full video and choose the best option for you. Option 5. Go for higher education. As we have already told that this video is made for average engineering students who doesn't want to appear for GATE, CAT, GRE or couldn't manage to get good score in these examinations but they really want to go for higher education, no need to be worried. You can check the government or semi-government universities who conduct their own entrance examinations for masters. If you want to do a masters in technology and manage to get a seat in any one of the good universities, they also have scholarship programs for you based on your BTEC scorecard. Also, for students who want to move their career towards management but could not manage to get a good score in CAT and MAT, you can also appear for BE school's own entrance examinations. Many government universities also offer MBA by conducting their own exam. Option 4. Switch your career to digital marketing. Digital marketing is the trend and the demand of digital marketer is growing day by day. Importantly, to start a career in digital marketing or to start directly working as a digital marketer not necessarily need a degree or diploma in that domain. For students who still think that engineering was not for them can switch their career to digital marketing. Just by doing online courses, one can get a good job in digital marketing domain. Thanks to Google that they have introduced so many free online certification courses for you. Google Digital Marketing courses will help you to learn digital marketing from search engines, search marketing and paid advertising to social media, mobile marketing analytics and beyond. Digital marketing will also give you a wide platform for freelancing work. Upwork is a very successful and globally famous freelancer's platform where you can register yourself and apply for the projects. Every year, more than 30% of the engineering students switch their career from engineering to digital marketing. So students, if you are not willing to do more engineering activities, you can try this option. Option 3. Entrepreneurship or Startup Entrepreneurship or Startup is a good career option for those students who love to do something new and have risk-taking capabilities. A student or a group of students can come out with a unique and beneficial idea and implement a business plan sincerely. However, it requires a lot of attention, patience and good amount of investment. It is definitely not an easy money-making option but with a good unique idea, you can definitely head towards success slowly. For a start, 
you should prepare a detailed business plan and should try for look sponsors. Here you have to write a compelling proposal that makes it clearly why a corporation should sponsor your business. Startup India and Government of India initiative is also there to help you if your idea and cost of investment align properly. Option 2. Search an internship or do a job hunt. It is always better for one to get an idea of the industry before start working in the company. After completion of your final semester examinations, you should look for the internship option available in the companies. You can just do a normal Google search or to find out the companies which are ready to take interns. Mostly interns are paid starting from 8K to 20K during initial 3 to 6 months. Once you are done with your internship period, mostly the companies like to hire you as a full-time employee. But yes, this is definitely dependent on your performance during the internship period. You can also do a direct job hunt after completion of your BTEC. Many of you are not aware how to do that in a proper and effective way. In India, just maintaining a proper profile in Nokri.com is enough to get numerous interviews. Almost 70 to 80 percent of the students get job through Nokri.com. Students can also build a LinkedIn profile, upload their CV and write to people who are posting jobs. LinkedIn is also a highly considerable portal for job hunt. Option 1. Enroll yourself into a technical skill development course. If you want to get a job in IT, you should move to any one of the India's big cities like Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune, Mumbai or Delhi and enroll yourself to a technical course in any of the best rated institutions of the cities. No matter from which branch you belong, you can do these courses and apply job in IT industry. Most of these institutions work as consultancies and they are tied up with many companies. So after completion of the courses, they will allow you to attempt many interviews and chances are maximum that you will get a job to start your professional career. So now the question is, which are those courses you should do for this? If you want to know more about those courses, kindly comment below. We will make a separate video with a detailed explanation if required. Thanks for watching the video. Hope this video has given you a clearer picture about what to do next after engineering. So guys, pick the best option for you and proceed towards a successful career. All the very best from FIS.